Right then, game number 21 in the IPL featuring Punjab and Kolkata. Now, Kolkata really uh, need to stop that flow of losses that they've had, four losses in a row, whereas uh, Punjab, on the other hand, coming off a big win versus the Mumbai Indians. Now, how does that impact your fantasy teams? That is what we're going to discuss. You're watching Coin DCX Go presents ESPN Quick Info Fantasy Pick. Joining me on the program, Daniel Vittori and Gaurav Sundaraman. Uh, but before I get you the safe bet 11, here's a quick tip. Whatever team you make, ensure that uh, Andre Russell isn't batting at number seven. With that, let's get started with the safe bet 11. And we've got uh, KL Rahul, Mayank Agarwal, Niti Shrana, Chris Gale and Rahul Tripathi as our batter. Let me give you some quick stats about Mayank Agarwal. His last three scores against Kolkata have been 58, 36 and 56. Chris Gale on the other other hand, his last five scores against Kolkata, 62 not out, 21, 20, 14 and 51. Rahul Tripathi is the top scorer for Kolkata in the last game. He got uh, 36 of 26 deliveries and also scored 90 runs in 60 balls at a strike rate of 156 in the middle overs so far. So keep an eye out on him. Then we've got our all-rounders in Moses Andriks and Andre Russell. Then let's get to our bowlers in Pat Cummins, Mohammad Shami, Varun Chakravarti and Ravi Bishnoi. Varun Chakravarti has picked uh, six wickets in five games this season and has gone wicketless only once in five games this season. Okay, Dan, let me get started with you. The first name that I really notice in this safe pet 11 is that of Pat Cummins. He's gone wicketless in the last two games. Would you really have him in a safe pet team? For his batting, I think. That's the, <laughs> the easy, easiest way to get him in the team. He's been fantastic with the bat and that middle order of KKR actually sort of bailed them out a few times. But uh, it's been interesting the way that um, Cummins has been used. I think when you see him for Australia as a set role, so KKR are obviously fitting them around um, a few of their bowlers, but it's hard to go Pat, past Pat Cummins. I think he's the guy who can bounce back. His ability to hit that right length more often than not means that he can be a strike bowler. And this could be an anomaly these last four or five games that he, he has struggled to take wickets. Also, the stadium is changing. Probably that brings some sort of luck to Pat Cummins. Okay, let me get to the high-risk swaps that Gaurav has for us. Uh, Gaurav, the first good thing is that you've got Pat Cummins uh, out of your team, as I can see. So that's great. But the other thing, uh, I see you've left Andre Russell out. So you thought, forget how to figure out where his batting order is. Best thing is just leave him out of the team. Yeah, I remember I didn't have A.B. Dimlias the other day and he didn't even get to bat. So, from a fantasy perspective, uh, he's, Russell's not getting a chance to bowl. Uh, he's not getting uh, his right spot. So, I guess they're just not using him well. So, uh, if he doesn't really bowl, then it becomes uh, uh, not a very uh, good option from a fantasy perspective. So, I've gone in for Sunil Naren. I think he's slowly striking form and at least he gets to bowl four overs and gets to bat uh, enough ball. So, whether he does well with the bat or not, but at least with the ball, he is uh, pretty strong. And I have Deepak Huda again, another all-rounder. So, from a fantasy perspective, even though it's a high risk Levin, I've gone with players who are likely to get bowling and uh, batting. So my three swaps are uh, Sunil Narayan, Deepak Huda and Shubman Gill. I think Gill will come good at some point. So I'm giving him a much longer run. Gaurav, you, you reckon with Punjab we saw in the Chennai leg like, that they were playing uh, Fabian Allen. They might go back to getting that extra fast bowler. It could be a Chris Jordan or, or a Jai Richardson coming in. Could that be one of the guys people can look at? Yes, definitely. I think while the players are putting in the, their fantasy team, it's good to see whether what the lineup is. I think Jai Richardson or Riley Meredith are likely to get back and slot into the 11. And uh, that will happen. And we have to see how Ahmedabad uh, plays down. So we really don't know. We saw a bunch of very low scores as well as very high scores when India and England played there. So maybe watch out for the first game, see the trends and then start picking your team. And finally, uh, Dan, uh, for those thinking of uh, getting, you know, consistent performers like, let's say, an Arshdeep or a Shah Rukh Khan for Punjab, they don't find a mention here in our safe bet or the uh, high risk swaps. What advice would you give them if you want to go with uh, these two consistent performers? Well, I think to Guru's point, we need to find out how the wicket plays. And if the wicket plays in a, in a certain manner, then Arshdeep and, and Shah Rukh Khan could come into the to the equation. So like Wankhedi, like Chipok, we all had a few a, bit, a few confusing times trying to work out exactly what the wicket was going to do. And I think these first couple of games at Ahmedabad are going to be proof similar. And that will, will, that will factor heavily into everyone's selections around a fantasy team. 
All right, that's that. Then, gentlemen, you are watching Coin DCX Co presents ESPN Greek Info Fantasy Pick.